Southeast Georgia and the Low Country. This is WJCL 22 Morning News. See us now. Bracing for Bucky's. Incredible. You wonder if there's enough demand to meet that, that size. We have exclusive documents bringing you a sneak peek of what you can expect to see at what will be Georgia's largest Bucky's being built near our area. Nikki Haley backing out of, re of a Republican presidential debate. Our crew in Washington live with the fallout. Changing strategies ahead of the New Hampshire primary. I'm Amy Liu in Washington with what each Republican presidential candidate is doing to rally more support from voters. We want to thank you so much for starting your day with us right here on WJCL 22. Good morning. I'm Emma Hamilton. And I'm Frank Solkowski, meteorologist Catherine Liberta joining us this morning. And Catherine, a lot of blue on that map behind you. Yes. Another. Another morning with those cold temperatures. Another very cold morning. You're absolutely right, Frank. And it's not just here in coastal Georgia and the low country that we are seeing these very cold temperatures across the southeast this morning. 20s for Macon, 21 out in Montgomery. And we are seeing those temperatures a little bit warmer as you head towards the coast. 30s right now out on our coast. But looking at your school day forecast temperatures, they are going to continue to heat up as we go into this afternoon. We'll see lots of sunshine throughout our day today. Clouds they are going to build in as we go into those after school hours. Now coming up, we are going to be talking about a lot of sunshine for today. Lows tonight, they're not going to be as cold as what we saw overnight last night, but we've got more cold weather on the way. I'll show you when it's going to arrive coming up in just about 10 minutes. Catherine, thank you. Well, this morning, people in Brunswick, they are bracing for Georgia's largest Bucky's. We've told you that Georgia's third and largest location. It's going to break ground there later this month. Well, WJCL 22 News' Andy Cole brings us a sneak peek of the popular new addition. 76,000 square feet, 512 parking spots, 120 gas pumps. Hey, what do you think of all that? That's that's a lot. They say everything's bigger in Texas, and it seems South Georgia's getting some of that. The massive convenience store Bucky's is breaking ground on a new location in Brunswick in late January, and already <coughs> crews are hard at work. If it's going to be that big, it's going to be like a Walmart. I mean, everybody compares Bucky's to Walmart. They're going to get a lot of business, trust me. Busy they certainly will be. Company officials estimate they'll serve 15,000 cars every day. Planning documents exclusively obtained by WJCL Investigates show what the store located off I-95 could look like. However, it may look the people are ready. To be honest, to be a gas station is like top tier. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like what they say, the Cadillac, but it's the Cadillac version. But the ladies' rooms. <laughs> Very clean, right? They're absolutely clean. You have a pro you feel like you're in a um, an exclusive hotel almost. You talked me into driving an hour to go get gas. And when I when I got there, one thing, the gas was cheap. It's unclear when the new store will open, but when it does, it'll employ more than 200 people full time. It's incredible. You wonder if there's enough demand to meet that that size. They must know what they're doing. <laughs> I'm Andy Cole, WJCL 22 News. Well, company officials with alongside local leaders going to break ground coming up January the 29th. Well, this morning, folks in one Savannah neighborhood say they're battling to get help with a noise problem from a nearway freeway. The Bacon Park neighborhood doesn't have a noise barrier to block out sounds coming from Truman Parkway. And as the population in the area grows, so does the sound of traffic. Gee, you know, it's quieter here and we're 50 feet from the parkway than it is at our house. And uh, at that point, she says, I need you to figure out what's gone wrong. Now, coming up in the next half hour, we're going to hear from neighbors about what they want done and what local officials are saying in response. Well, if you have any questions or concerns about new businesses or projects happening in your community, you can send your questions to boomtown at WJCL.com. You can also check out other stories about traffic and hiring and new additions in our area. All you got to do is visit our website, WJCL.com. A vote for Nikki Haley this Tuesday is a vote for Joe Biden and a Democrat Congress this November, because that's what's going to happen. Now, I know Trump threw a, a temper tantrum about me last night. I heard that.
Well, this morning, the race for the White House fueling a public back and forth between former President Donald Trump and former South Carolina Governor Nikki Haley. Haley backing out of a debate set for last night because she says she won't participate unless Trump is there. And while all eyes are turning to the next primary contest up in New Hampshire, not all candidates are focused on winning voters there. Our Amy Liu is joining us live from our Washington Bureau this morning. And Amy, if the candidates aren't focused on winning New Hampshire, then what are they focusing on? Emma and Frank, you know, these candidates, Nikki Haley and Ron DeSantis, like you said, they are shifting their focus in New Hampshire, while the front runner, former President Donald Trump, is balancing his time in court as well as his campaign. Hello, New Hampshire. Using his legal vice to rally voters, Trump is traveling to and from his campaign in New Hampshire. It's obvious to everybody in the court, it's a disgrace. While facing trial in New York City on civil defamation charges involving a woman accusing him of sexual assault and fighting to stay on the primary ballots in two states, a court in Maine now saying it will wait for the Supreme Court to weigh in on Colorado's decision. Trump threw a, a temper tantrum about me last night. I heard that. In New Hampshire, Nikki Haley is closing in on Trump, refusing to attend any debates unless the former president appears, leaving Ron DeSantis. If anyone is willing to debate, please let me know. Shifting his focus from New Hampshire to South Carolina. I'm the only one that's not running a basement campaign. They won't even debate. Haley's refusal to appear on the debate stage, unless Trump does too, uh, led to the cancellation of two debates that were supposed to happen leading up to the New Hampshire primary on Tuesday, Emma and Frank. Amy, you mentioned a uh, shift in the DeSantis campaign to South Carolina now. What is the reason for that? Well, that's because South Carolina may be Ron DeSantis's only and last chance to beat Trump and his likely nomination. Right now, there's new polling coming out of New Hampshire that shows support for Ron DeSantis is in the single digits, and that while Trump leads Haley by 14 percent. The poll also notes that voters who originally supported Chris Christie and Vivek Ramaswamy, who both dropped out after the Iowa caucus, are now backing Haley. Still, support for Trump has only grown since last week, with a majority of Republican uh, primary voters now backing Trump once again. Back to you both. And it'll be interesting when it comes here to South Carolina for uh, Nikki Haley's home state. All right, our Amy Lou live in Washington. Thanks so much, Amy. Your traffic track 22 this morning heading out to the airport. Looks like no problems on the roads right now. We can see Savannah to the airport just about a 20 minute drive. Hilton Head, it's under an hour to the airport in Hinesville, just about 45 minutes this morning. We also have no problems on I-95 headed southbound or I-16 headed eastbound. So pull her to downtown just about a 12 minute drive this morning. Looks like traffic is moving well across the area and we'll take a live look right now out at Victory Drive at Skidaway Road in Savannah. You can see a couple of folks out there on the roads this morning. Does look like like that traffic's moving well, Frank.